Introducing Harvard Medical School's genetics professor, Dr. David Sinclair. Both in 2013 and in 2017, Dr. Sinclair is shown here. He was 44 when he was first introduced, and even though he is now 54, he still seems to have aged well. The professor has made scientific changes to his diet and way of living. His body is younger, he claims. I've examined my blood's chemistry, and I've discovered that I'm actually younger and healthier than I've ever been. Testosterone, glucose, inflammation, and blood cell composition. But for the majority of those metrics, my health is better than a 20-year-old. We shall discuss his scientific discovery in this video in five parts. The most crucial eating behavior for longevity is listed first, followed by the food he consumes for longevity, the supplements he takes every day, and finally the items he should avoid for life. You can stop the body software from becoming corrupted, slow down the aging process, and even reboot the body by leading a healthy lifestyle. Dr. Sinclair's fitness suggestion is straightforward. Work out three times a week until I am out of breath. You want to be able to move so quickly that having a conversation will be difficult. When this happens, you know you're getting low on oxygen, and that, in our opinion, is a very good activator of the body's stress response. Your body reacts favorably, increasing blood flow, muscle growth, and the release of anti-aging compounds from your tissues. Therefore, if you can merely stop breathing for 10 minutes three times a week, that can have amazing health advantages and reduce disease rates by 30%. The most vital dietary practice for longevity. Less frequent eating is the most crucial eating behavior for longevity. We are aging more quickly than necessary because of our frequent eating, three meals and two snacks, as well as other factors. Dr. Sinclair prefers to eat every six hours or so during the day. He eventually mastered skipping meals. His intention is to wait until dinner to eat a substantial meal before having a highly nutritious vacant meal. According to the science behind time-restricted feeding, if you're just eating one meal a day, as he is right now, you should wait until you regain your 20-year-old body. The time when you don't eat is crucial for enhancing your body's anti-aging defenses. These lengthy, uninterrupted times are necessary to do a thorough body cleansing and activate autophagy which thoroughly recycles proteins in order to increase longevity. When the body doesn't have enough energy, sirtuin genes become active. So numerous disorders like type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and cancer may be helped by fasting. Dr. Sinclair offers the following helpful advice to anyone who wants to begin intermittent fasting. The key is to continuously hydrate your body with fluids like hot coffee, tea, and water throughout the day. Any hunger sensation is eliminated when one is hydrated and full of liquid. Additionally, if you really must eat anything, a small amount of protein will quickly eliminate your appetite. Before having 8 hours of sleep, you should fast for at least 16 hours or have very little food. Typically, this entails eating a late lunch if you skip breakfast and skipping dinner if you'd like. After two weeks, your liver will have figured out that you won't be eating breakfast or lunch and it will begin producing glucose steadily. This is crucial, since glucose increases can create hunger when it drops after a substantial meal. Professor David Sinclair mostly concentrates on plants throughout the six-hour meal window when considering what to eat for longevity. He discovered that changing to a plant-based diet improved his health. He points out that longer-living populations typically consume fewer servings, especially those who follow vegetarian diets. He suggests consuming dark green, vivid red, and purple veggies since they are high in polyphenols that can activate the body's anti-aging mechanisms. David Sinclair takes three vitamins daily, resveratrol and MN, a type of vitamin B3, and metformin are the three vitamins that Dr. Sinclair takes each day. Grapes contain resveratrol, which can activate several genes linked to long life. NAD, a substance necessary for life and a factor in the proper operation of sirtuins or genes associated with long life, is increased by NMN in the body. It is well known that the type 2 diabetes medication metformin increases longevity and guards against cardiovascular disease and frailty. David Sinclair has eliminated a number of food groups in order to live a longer life. To avoid high sugar spikes, he steers clear of sugar and advises against consuming excessive amounts of fruit especially fruit juice. For a variety of health reasons, he also shuns bread, meat, lowering protein intake, dairy, and alcohol. For red wine, he advises choosing great varietals like Pinot Noir because of their greater resveratrol concentration. In general, 
Dr. Sinclair's strategy for longevity combines physical activity, time restraints in eating, a diet high in plants, particular supplements, and avoiding particular foods. His main concerns include promoting overall health and the body's built-in anti-aging mechanisms. Every day, Dr. Sinclair takes three vitamins. He makes it clear that he doesn't advocate or recommend any particular company, nor does he offer any dietary supplements for sale. He consumes three different supplements, metformin, NMN, a kind of vitamin B3, and resveratrol, to maintain NAD levels, which are essential for aging gracefully. One takes these supplements. Resveratrol is extracted from grapes and added to some yogurt. Clinical trials have demonstrated the health benefits of NMN, which have been shown to double NAB levels to what they were when he was 20. A safe medication called metformin has been shown to be protective against Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease, and frailty. The number one food that Dr. David Sinclair do and ee is sugar, especially fructose, because it can cause fatty liver disease and diabetes. The sugar concentration in fruit and fruit juice, he advises, should be avoided. He advises avoiding spikes in glucose levels and maintaining them instead. David Sinclair avoids the following foods most. Additionally, he has eliminated bread from his diet because it made him jittery and exhausted and spiked his blood sugar levels. Dr. Sinclair has eliminated meat from his diet. Thus, these are the top three foods he do and eat. Although he acknowledges that fish can be eaten occasionally, he contends that plant-based protein has a superior ratio of amino acids for longevity than meat protein. Top 4 Foods David Sinclair Re-FUSES to Eat Include He has cut out dairy from his diet, which has improved the levels of his triglycerides and cholesterol. The following are the top 5 foods that Dr. David Sinclair no longer eats. Alcohol If you enjoy red wine, he advises picking great varietals that are susceptible to stress, such as Pinot Noir. Keep in mind that these are the dietary suggestions and decisions made by Dr. David Sinclair based on his research in science.